Hey guys, today I'm going to be filming my hair care routine and when I was in kindergarten my hair used to be about this short. It was pretty embarrassing so I think I've come a pretty long way. Um, my hair used to be really longer than this and then I kind of got it cut um, short um, and now it's this length again so I think I've come a pretty far way with my hair. I just wanted to share my hair care routine with you guys. So if you do like my hair, then you can get this hair look. And I'm not the type of person that uses like every single thing. I use very limited amount of stuff on my hair just because I don't like to load it up with different products that I don't even think are going to work. So that's why I only use a limited amount. And I am showing you a little more than I use on a regular basis like this because I don't use this every day, but it is something I do use, so that's just what I'm doing. Now let's just go ahead and... Also, I forgot to mention, I do change out my shampoo and conditioner pretty frequent. Once I use up one, I usually do go to a different one just because I like to try new things. Um, so, speaking of shampoo and conditioner... These are what I'm using right now, and I usually use the pairs, like the shampoo and then the same one of the conditioner. So first I have the L'Oreal um, Smooth This Ultimate Straight Straightening Shampoo, and this is just what it looks like. I am going to do a close-up on these. Um, so this is for um, making your hair straight. My hair is naturally curly, so that's why... I really like the straightening one. It doesn't really work, but, you know, what can I do? And it smells really good, and it lasts through, like, three days later. You can still smell it, so it smells really good. And this stuff makes my hair looking better. It look, makes my hair look like beach waves instead of really curly. So I think it does work a little bit, but not as well as I would like it. So this is just the L'Oreal straightening shampoo and then I have the matching conditioner. I don't use as much as the conditioner. I use about a um, nickel size of conditioner and then I just put it in the lower half. Not in my scalp because if I do it in my scalp then it just makes my hair really oily a day later and greasy and I don't like that. So I just use the same exact um, straightening, it's conditioner instead of shampoo. So those are my shampoo and conditioners. And um, I wash my hair about every other day because I just, you know, don't like to do it every day. I just think it's unnecessary. And lice likes clean hair and I don't, I really don't have clean hair. Um, I do when I wash it obviously but sometimes I wait every other day and sometimes I wait every three days I sometimes go like not during school I usually do it on the weekend after I get out of the shower I do usually use the Chi Inverno I think that's how you say it I don't really know but it's a blowout spray so it just makes your hair silky and smooth um, and I just do it in my damp hair I don't do it right when I get out of the shower I wait like 10 minutes when it's starting to get dry and then I just spray this in this smells really good I wish you could smell it it smells like coconuts the beach Ugh, it smells so good so I really love this stuff a lot and it does make my hair more shinier so I really like this stuff um, next I have your Not Your Mother's Beach Babe Texture Using Sea Salt Spray and I do use this during the summer if I want some beachy waves which my hair does have pretty beachy waves when it's wet and gets dry but I just use this when my hair is already dry and straightened and I do want some because mostly every day I do straighten my hair and I think it's important to have really nice full hair so I do really like this. Next for dry shampoo I just I do change these a lot so I don't really stay on one but I have been using this one a lot. I've been repurchasing it so it's the Not Your Mother's Clean Freak Refreshing Gi Blech. Dry Shampoo so this is just not your mother's as you can tell I really love not your mother's and I really like Tresme as well um 
I'm almost out of this actually, but this is just a really nice dry shampoo. Um, my mom uses this as well. We kind of share and um, yeah, it just absorbs all the moisture that's left um, if your hair is greasy. And I do usually use this um, like my second day hair. Also, I forgot to mention, I never blow dry my hair. I mean, I do have a blow dryer, but I really don't use it. I just let it air dry, and then, um, because I take a shower right before bed, and then I usually, um, just, um, sleep on it, and then wake up the next morning and it's dry. That's how I like to do my hair best. Next, I have the Tresemme, um, Thermal heat protectant spray this is my favorite 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 um heat protectant every person uses this for their heat protectant it's really good i think it's like four dollars it's like the cheapest one and it's the best one i found and this is like my third bottle um and it's really good so if you happen to be at your target i would definitely pick this up it's awesome now, I don't usually use dry shampoo, or, um, not dry shampoo, hairspray, but, um, if I do, I typically use these two. I usually reach for, I do have a lot more, um, than just these two, but this one is just the Tresemme, um, hairspray. So, this stuff doesn't make your hair crunchy, um, and there's different... Um, different things so if you don't want it to hold as much you can get one mine's just three because I don't like the like really intense one because it does make my hair crunchy but three is really good for me and then this one I just got from my hairdresser she recommended it it's by Paul Mitchell but it's just that brand I don't know how to say it um, but it's just some finishing spray after you're done it, but I do use these for like special occasions and stuff. And ew, that is gross. So, yep. I haven't used this in a while. I usually reach for this one. But sometimes I do reach for this one. And I'm almost out of this one actually. So, yeah. I don't go to that hairdresser anymore. So, Next, um, once I'm done swimming, I don't get a shower. Um at like swim meets these are the three things I use at swim meets um, so first I use the Paul Mitchell super skinny serum and this just smooth and conditions your hair and this is much smaller than this so they're pretty much the same things um, but I just use this one when I'm at swim meets and it smells super good it smells like watermelons and I find that this one works best um, this one I spray all over my hair and then this one I put on the ends of my hair this is the same brand as this I actually just realized it but this is um, styling treatment and this is good for cuticles um, but as well as on your hair so um, yeah pretty much the same thing I just really like using three different products um actually don't use this all the time I only use it some of the time but I really do like this stuff is this um, macadamia healing oil treatment and I do have some dead ends not many but I do have some they're like not that bad I should go get a haircut soon I haven't gotten one in like two months but this just helps with my split ends and this is a mini one I wish I could find a full size one but I really can't find it anywhere if I would I would definitely get this but this was just a sample size I had like three of them but I really love this stuff and it's awesome so yeah so that is my hair care routine I don't use everything on a daily basis at all but um, I do use this stuff. I just wanted to show you the different stuff I use. So I hope you enjoyed this video and literally hair goals is Danielle Marie. She has flawless hair and I just like admire her hair. So yep, I hope you enjoyed this video and I guess I will catch you guys later. Bye. <laughs> That's how... Hold on. No. Oh, that sounds so cool. Wow, okay, bye. <laughs>